the liquid nitrogen. Wow. And this will freeze now a nice outside shell. So it will be like a little mer um, meringue oh. or a macaroon. You, you must use a lot of liquid nitrogen. Here. My name is Eva. I'm part of the storytelling team and I'm here to make your very first course of today. This is called the lime growth and it's a little limus which I'm going to freeze in liquid nitrogen. The lime and frozen in liquid nitrogen. Lime mousse. Yes. Lime mousse frozen in liquid nitrogen. <laughs> Into the liquid nitrogen. Wow. And this will freeze now a nice outside shell. So it will be like a little mer um, meringue oh. or a macaroon. You, you must use a lot of liquid nitrogen here because it's all evaporating. Indeed, we do. <laughs> we need quite a bit. This is our first course out of 11. I thought it was just for six. So this dish is best enjoyed straight away as it melts very, very quickly. Right. So who would like to go first? Me. Ladies first. A bit of little matcha green tea powder on the top. <laughs> it's not going to burn me, is it? It's like a spoonful of ice cream. Is it? Yeah. So you can mix this up with your fingers, but very gentle. It's very fragile. Or eat it from the spoon, but in water. Okay. Eat it from the spoon, I should think. I would. <laughs> it might burn my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so nice. Mm. Mm. Very nice, honey. Oh, it's got sour. It's all gone. Mm, very tasty. It goes in uh, liquid nitrogen. This is a uh, trickery cuisine by Heston Blumenthal. Is he in the kitchen? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in France and not allowed to travel. Oh, yeah. He lives in France, does he? Yeah. Oh, it's nice. I'll take you. And for you as well. So you can pick it up with your fingers very gently or from the spoon. I'll just teach you in the spoon, I think. Or eating lime mousse. To cleanse your palate and to refresh you. This is very smelly, tasty. Very pretty. Yeah. And stimulate your palate. Thank you. opportunity to taste the smell. Um, it sounds bizarre. Uh, we're going to be tasting both. Now my, my colleague Martella is placing down a couple of different elements to this. We're going to start with going the fat top film. Um, at the top is an open resin film. Um, if you'd like to lift the plastic box up, um, it has a flat lid that pulls towards you on the top. So if you'd like to open the box up, open it. And place the film on your tongue. Oh. How do you feel that? I can give you a hand there, sir. Thank you. They're quite excellent. Yeah. Essentially, it's a perfume. It's, it's made into taste. a film. Oh. We made an edible perfume. Oh, made, you made it edible. We made it edible. It, it tastes like a wafer, yeah. Oh, I could taste that oak. Yeah, it's very woody. I'm eating wood. So that prepares your mouth for the different umami textures and tastes that you have. So right. inside the bowl, we have different layers to explore. Right. And inside the bowl, we have a jelly of quail with That's a langoustine cream and a chicken liver parfait. What I like to do is I try and get the spoon, get all of those layers, a spoonful of jelly. In between spoonfuls of jelly, have a little bite of that truffle taste on the side. Oh, your fingers. Nice. They're really good together. Mm. Then you truffle on that. 
and it's a nice texture. Oh my variation. god, that's so tasty. Mm. It's the ultimate surf and surf. Really Whoa, that's that's so nice. More, more liquid nitrogen. This uh, is slightly warmer this time, sir. We're, we're going yeah. to minus 80 with uh, dry ice. Oh. So we're melting dry some dry ice with some hot water. What you see is oh the god, this is so nice. water basically coming off. And um, we've. Uh, it's very, uh, very a little thick. perfume on top of the, uh, the dry ice, which is which is the same aroma that you just tasted. So try and smell our treat. It's very theatrical, oh, isn't it? We like the theatrics of the fat guy. This smells lovely. Mm. This is what course is this? Number seven. This is number seven, I think. Number six. Number six. Oh, very tasty. The ice cream is usually leaking, but in this situation, it's quite small. You can give a maybe two bites. Couple of bites. We suggest you buy because we can. This is crab ice cream. Combine all the fragrance together. Inside the brick you can discover the jelly passion fruit. It's a crab yeah. ice cream. The top is the solution with the pepper and the little sticks. So it's a real chocolate. So it's savory. I will suggest you to enjoy quickly before it's much. In the moment. We generally leave you to explore the dish and we can explain all afterwards if you have any questions. Yeah. Um, so feel free to plug in the headphones and let it drift you away. I could hear the sea. I could hear seagulls. If you like, yeah. Pull them out a little bit more and then we give you a bit of Okay, thank you. Can you hear the sea, honey? Yes. Read, read this next course. Number. Is this is number seven. <laughs> course number seven, we're going to the seaside. So they've got this prop. Can you read it then? Well, it's got mackerel, octopus, yellowtail, sea herbs. This is number seven course. We're going to the sea. Sea flavour. Is that nice, honey? <laughs> I love this swivel chair. Luxurious ingredients here. From so, the we have fillet of Irish beef, oh, this is with nardin anchovies. On the left hand side, is some onion and tarragon blue oak jelly. On the right hand side, slow braised ox tongue with some pickled mushrooms and mushroom ketchup. Mushroom, mushroom ketchup. ketchup. That outdates tomato ketchup historically. Really? So take that, Mr. Hines. Yeah, what's, what's this? We have some fried sweetbreads and some oh, smoked bone marrow caviar, and they're sat on a truffle emulsion. A little extra served dish with the bread. Very nice. Cornish turbot, king of the sea, top top with uh, some uh, virgin jelly and caviar. We serve it with a slow cooked oyster. This is our dessert. This is oh, the wow. first part of your dessert. Yeah, your, first your part dessert, of the dessert. Yeah, your dessert comes in two, two parts. The, the first part, um, we get you ready for bed because we change the light. <laughs> you find the light going <laughs> down. The sun's going down. Sleeping. And a lullaby's playing. Yeah, yeah, a little bit sleepy, sleepy getting, yeah. getting into that bedtime ritual. Um, sometimes yeah. you need something yeah. malty and milky for me. Uh, right. Like an oval tea or a Horlicks or, or cookies and milk. Um, so this is portrayed yeah, as a mocked meringue and it's filled inside with a double milk ice cream. So lightly pick them up off the pillows, enjoy them in a couple of bites uh, and your next part of the dessert is coming very shortly. Right. And while I'm here, would you like any teas or coffees? Uh, could I just have hot water? Yeah, absolutely. Some lemon on the side there? No, just hot water because I'm so cool. <laughs> Is there any tea? No, I'm fine, thank you. Okay. TFD, that's the fat duck. This is the first bit of the dessert. So you're having coconut, you're having This is the last bit. What's in here? 
जो अंदर है Very rich. I'm so poor, man. This is course number eleven. It's more like number twelve, isn't it? If you include all the side dishes, it'll be about fifteen. the layout that you see today um, make the Milky Way on the cellar Japanese toilets but as well extension in the kitchen uh, for six months the FADAC was operating in Melbourne in the Crown Casino and it took eight months to reopen the FADAC the same time for Mr. Mark Hiller to create this masterpiece so is this building this restaurant this is the fat duck actually this is the fat duck but instead of a restaurant we have a classic sweet british sweet shop yeah. to represent the happiness of a child to be to the sweet shop right the same happiness for Heston being to the fat duck right do you Got have it. any favorite sweets oh uh, what do you like normal uh, caramel okay uh, licorice licorice fantastic this is our last. Oh, wow. 48 different draws. One for our guests. I know that it seems very random, but I know what you're going to get. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Oh, so cute. Yes, I know. It's, it's the most beautiful dollhouse that i ever seen. Me too. And I like the bedroom at the top. Yeah, we can say that this is a Heston bedroom. Is it? Uh, <laughs> the teddy bear on the very back where it is off glasses. Toys of the Decade goes Heston, he's a 70s boy. But as well, a Meccano magazine. Ah. ah. Right. Okay. On your right hand side is where you can find Heston anymore. Into a lamp. Okay. Laid with his favorite ingredient, that is the liquid nitrogen. Oh, and right. the same clock as it is after. Oh, yes. The Melbourne clock. Oh. Created from Mr. Mark Hiller to represent the time that the Fadak spent to Melbourne. Um, Melbourne, Australia? Yes. Oh, wow. you've got, oh yeah, there's one there, isn't there? Yes. Oh, I is that see. still there? No, it's, it's over here now. Ah, it's moved here. It was the, the first one was there. So now it's here. I see. Interesting. Do you have any money to spend? It's not very expensive. I need just a penny. I thought that was my remembrance. <laughs> Oh, look how clever. This is a sweet shot of the pot. Oh. As I can see, both of you very well behaved. <laughs> <laughs> if we weren't, we wouldn't be getting the um, sweet. sweet shot. Yes. <laughs> I see, makes sense. Can't argue with that. Normally, uh, what kind of sweets are you taking? Uh, Toffee. Well, I, I like licorice, like 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 like, like I uh, like, like I said. Yes. Mine's toffee. Licorice, but as a bonbon, as a caramel. Caramel. As a bonbon. As a bonbon. Yeah. What's a bonbon? Oh, it's like a stinky. Are they hard candies? Oh, lollipop. Yes. <laughs> I'll have a lollipop then. <laughs> uh, I'm coming from Greece and normally we don't have that kind of sweets. We right. do have something like um, baklava sauce. Baklava. We are going oh, to I love baklava. Yeah. yeah. Baklava will do. In your case, we do have a Fadak sweet. Right. Ah. The dark chocolate aero, it's filled with uh, mandarin gel. Right. The case is opening as a hat. Madam, I would like to ask you to take this one for me. Yeah. You're gonna twist the, both, the top and the bottom together. Oh, hang on. From Victorian ages. Right. It used to be for the athlete as an energy bar. 
fried. Oh. An apple pie caramel with an edible wrapper. Okay. Sir, I would like to ask you to take this caramel for me. This one? Yes. Take it out of the box. Ooh. And have the caramel with the wrapper, all in one bite. So eat, eat the wrapper? All, all in one bite. Uh, Always I recommend to my guests to keep, they keep them for the next 48 hours and in a cool and dry place. Now with this heat it's better to keep it in the fridge. Yes. Of course you can have them here. No. Uh, I think we're full. I'm so full. Thank you very much. So we'll take this home. Thank you. Oh, Thank, you. you Thank you very much. Thank you.